Hey guys and gals, this is Nathan. Welcome to another episode of Combat Coloring Tips and Tricks. Uh, let's see, this week we're going to start this project. Um, might be five episodes long, maybe. Um, maybe four, might be six. I'm not quite sure. I guess we'll just kind of see as it goes along. But I'll be taking this piece uh, from my thought process all the way to the end. I've been... Uh, asked a lot lately you know for a whole process um, series so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do here um, this piece here is, as you can see at the top it was a uh, supposed to be a cover for Wolverine number 128 and uh, I don't believe it was ever used um, and see the artwork by Stephen Platt and inks by Matt Banning and um, yeah, so I've been looking at this piece for a little bit here. You know, trying to decide what I want to do with it. And these kinds of covers or pinups are always kind of tricky. Um, you know, have like kind of like a montage. And, you know, there's like a... You kind of lose the focus. I mean, where the, the inks are... You know, I got the inks up here. Let me get a red... New layer. So I can kind of draw on this. Uh, so we got the blacks up here, over here, and then we just kind of follow the blacks here, down here, you know, to Madame Hydra. And it goes along this way. You know, you got some dark blacks, you know, spotted throughout here as well. So it kind of continues. And then up, you know, here. And then Shadow Cat's hair and stuff. So we're just kind of following it. But the problem is that there's like these dark blacks here, you know, on Wolverine, you know, so, and then over here as well. And over here, in her hair here. So what kind of ends up happening is that it kind of really flattens out the piece. You know, even though, I mean, it's a great looking piece, but, you know, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. Um, let me see, let me open up my navigator window. Your Photoshop um, menu bar, just go to Window and then Navigator, and that'll pop up. Um, let me get it I like smaller than that. This way here, I could just look at it, you know, like a small little thumbnail without having to step away from my computer or, you know, move back and forth, you know, zoom in and out. That way I can tell what's going on. Uh, but you can tell, you know, it's kind of, especially like down here in the bottom part, it's really just a kind of jumbled mess. So we're going to help that along, you know, using color, uh, break out, and uh, show the viewer what the focus is going to be. Uh, so, I mean, this is a Wolverine cover. So I think, like, our focus, you know, really should be on this you know, this part here, you know, Wolverine's hands, and then this part. You know, so all of this, you know, is where we need to make the the reader's eyes look first. It should be the first read. Then afterwards, you know, they can get, like, all the all the side info, you know, the, all the other background characters. Um, you know, we're not saying that they're unimportant, but they're just not as important as Wolverine. It is his book. Um... Just put this underneath here. Um, let's see. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and clear all that. And let's just do some sketching. If I had extra ink in my printer, uh, you know, what I might do is print out a couple different uh, copies of this and just use, you know, some markers or maybe some watercolors or even colored pencils and just do some, you know, some color sketches to try and decide, you know, exactly what I want to do. Um, let's see. Let's see if we go, like, with the yellow background here. And, you know, this is just really rough, because we, we're just trying to... This is usually the thought process going on in my, in my head as I'm doing this stuff. Oh, uh, okay. It's just really cramped on my screen, you know, but I want to make sure you get, usually I'd have my navigator like on the other, on the other monitor. 
I just, you know, that way there you guys can see, um, you know, what I have going on in the other palettes. It's just a little bit cramped for me, but I'll make do. You guys are worth it. Uh, let's see. So if we have him, if we have the background yellow, maybe we have all these guys here. Maybe we'll do like a purple lighting on them. That way there, they'll be pushed back. And I'm not, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before, but uh, cool colors recede. So they go into the background and warm colors pop forward. So it's always something to remember, like, you know, when you're laying down your backgrounds, uh, you're looking for a way to push something back. You know, you can always like cool out the shadows or something. Um, yeah, uh, just one. So let's see if we have those guys there with the purplish light on light source on them. Um, then maybe we'll do, I'm not sure who this mysterious ghostly figure is, but let's see if we just have like the smoke effects. You know, like a grayish, you know, we can always tweak the tone, you know, maybe a little bit more yellow to go with the yellow background or something. And then uh, Wolverine, of course, will be, I believe in this era, he's still wearing his uh, brown and orange suit. So let's go ahead and block that in as well. And again, it's just down and dirty. You know, we're not we're not laying our flats here. Just the the thought process. And again, all this here is usually happening in my mind when I first sit down to look at it. Um, let's see. This is orange. And then I think what like a red belt the yellow oops yellow buckle so you can see up here in the thumbnail you know that's already getting uh, he's already getting pulled out from that from the whole mess back there um, the tough part I think because we have these Hydra guys right and they're green and gold uh, where's a nice goldish color right and then you know some skin tone whatever but then they're also down there with a bunch of guys from the hand so what we don't want is for this all of a sudden to start looking like Christmas down here but again like I don't think these guys are I mean of course they're going to be important to the story but they're not going to be the focus of the cover I think it should still be Wolverine so I think what we could do, open up a new layer. And again, this is all, you know, my thought process going on. Um, let me see, soft brush. Let me see, quick mask. I just hit Q for quick mask and just lets me kind of paint over here, paint a selection in. So we're gonna do it like that and then so I do that, it gives me a selection, and I can just, of course, I'm not going to do it like that much. You know, maybe a little something like that. Um, you know, of course, we'll do it like with a color or something like that. Put that on multiply. It's at 50%. Let's go 70. So you can see in our thumbnail, I mean, these guys still have like their local colors kind of showing, but our main focus is still on Wolverine. maybe or what if we just had all of this all of this 
and we just fill that blue. And if you hit Shift, con uh, Shift Command, and F, or Shift Control F, that brings up this fade option. Um, that's also is in the edit. Yeah, fade, and it says fade fill because uh, sorry to any fills out there. That was a bad joke. Sorry. Um, wow, that was really bad. But uh, the fill was the last thing I did. I filled this with blue. So that'll be like the last thing. So if you do like a gradient, it'll say fade gradient. Uh, so let me do that. It brings this up. And what I can do, I can just do the opacity. Even though I just filled it with 100% of that color, just hitting that fade, I could go back and like just, just let up on what I had just done. So that's kind of cool to do. Uh, overlay. No. Multiply. No. Color. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Um, it kind of adds a nice mood to it, I think. But let's say we don't want to do it with that blue. What about like a teal or something like that, I think might be nice. Drop that back and bring that to color. Oh, you know what? Because I already had that fill go. <laughs> I was like, why? This isn't looking so great. All right. Color. I'll drop that back. I don't know. Again, this is, you know, just messing around, trying out different things. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. Of course, I already have the, the flats done for this just in the interest of time. Um, and there's some other stuff I wanted to show you. So say like we have our colors down. And again, these are just flats. You know, this is no way like the finished uh, color scheme that we're going to use or anything like that. Um, I do have this this middle part selected. That's going to be our focus. Um, what we can do just to get a better idea of not only just using the colors, but then let's go ahead and use like some hue uh, saturation. We're going to hit this uh, little button down here on our layers palette. You know, the half and half circle, the yin yang, I guess. And we'll just pull up a hue saturation adjustment layer. That's going to be on top of everything, including the line art. And just going to drag that, the saturation, all the way down. And again, it's going to give us a good idea of like our values. So you can see, like down here on the bottom, it's just a huge clumping mess. And uh, these guys here, these uh, Hydra guys just really get lost in the shuffle as well. So we'll have to watch out for that. Um, let's see first. Oops. How did I, oh yeah, okay. I'm gonna do another hue saturation. Well, that's what it was. <laughs> and let's go and darken those. Oops, wrong way. I don't know that happens. So we're gonna just take that hit uh, Command or Control I, we're gonna inverse this, the colors on that. So we're gonna be messing with all the rest of the other parts, not this middle part we want focus on. So let me click back on there, so we get this back open. We'll drag down the saturation and bring down the lightness on this. Let's see. So you can see, like in our little navigator window, you know, we're starting to get a lot more uh, of the Wolverine, the center, the center piece opening up, so we can see it more. Uh, see it without. That helps out a lot, I think. You know, again, we can also uh, introduce more blue to it as well. Um, I think that looks good. Maybe we'll go some levels and let's load this as a selection inverse right yeah there we go and i'm just going to take the middle bar here let's kind of bring that up but just a little bit more 
let's take a look and see what we have. All right. So, of course, we're going to add lighting on top of these guys. They're not really going to stay this dark. But, uh, you know, it just kind of shows us what we need to watch out for. Uh, and we can see, like, in our little navigator thumbnail, you know, how much more he's popping out and everything. So I think that looks pretty, pretty good right there. And that might, again, that might be too much. So I'll just go ahead and bring that down, maybe 80%, 70%. I'll just flatten these with my colors layer. And this guy, these guys back here are going to have to come forward a little bit because that's way too dark for them. They're just really getting lost in Sabretooth's chest. So I think... Yeah, there we go. And... So we can see... Um, See, I, mean, I could look at this, but I'm more interested in here. Let's see how. I think that looks pretty good. Let's bring out Madam Hydra up a little bit more as well. Try that same bit. Looks good. Let me brighten her hair a little bit more. Let me desaturate a little bit. And that way they were getting some contrast in between here and her outfit. All right. Now. I just loaded up my selection again by holding command or control on a PC and you know on my shape I have here I, I know I'm gonna be constantly making adjustments so that's why I went ahead and made that ahead of time let's see what we can do let's go ahead and do a color balance adjustment layer oops and again I brought up the wrong okay and let's go blue I'm not really sure how how blue, maybe purplish, bring some magenta into it. Let's look at this navigator window so we can see. Nah, it's too much. I was kind of throwing it off too as a blue of the smoke. So let's get rid of that, right? making hitting quick mask and making sure I could see you know where my selection is make sure I have everything selected before I adjust it so you know what if if I go warm Oh, that should totally mess everything up right there. Yeah, I'm looking at this. Yeah, I don't like it. So, nope. But, you know, that's fine. This is what this, this part of the process is for right now anyway. Um, let's see. I think... This is good. This is a good uh, stopping point for now. So, you know, we got a decent read. Uh, of course, these guys down here are just a big jumbled mess, but uh, they'll become clearer, like, you know, when we're actually coloring. Um, but yeah, I think we'll go ahead and stop it here. And so, I don't know, that's like the, be <laughs> the beginning process, you know, of when I'm doing covers like these. Um, Yes, yeah, so if you have any questions, just let me know. I have the links for my Facebook, 
and Twitter um, down in the description. So if you guys have any questions, you know, until the next episode, you can hit me there or um, leave leave a comment down below. Um, probably comments work best. That way there I can answer the questions and everybody else can see, you know, if somebody else had the same question as well. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it. Uh, if you haven't already, you know, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of these, uh, these parts, you know, going through this process. And, uh, if you like what you see, hit that like button helps us, helps me out a lot. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.